Welcome to Pion Press channel and today we are going to uh, make small Forton, Forton hydraulic press ourselves using only uh, stuff that you can find from regular hardware store and you don't need any special tools just electric drill is probably the most expensive tool you don't need this ang angle grinder which is just easier than with the hand tools and then you need a bottle jack this is four ton it's quite suitable and then you need uh, these steel fittings for planks you want to have this like beam shape that is very strong on like this plane so you can use this at as frame then you need some threaded rod this is a uh, m12 m12 uh, thread i'm not sure is it it's about maybe half inch yeah half inch is close to this if you are from somewhere that use inch inch measurements and with uh, 12 millimeter or half inch you can use probably six ton bottle jack is still safe two of these take takes bit over 10 tons and you want to leave some safety margin there then you need eight nuts on the same size as this and 12 what are these some kind of base plates same size and four bit bigger plates to uh, spread the pressure yeah and you and then you need also tape measurement and safety glasses if you are operating power tools yeah and then you need also or this is isn't necessary but you may want to put something bigger here so you can get a bit larger press tool first thing to do is to drill these nail holes a bit larger so we can fit our uh, threaded rod through them and we are going to use electric drill yeah my battery is too low I get, get new battery Yeah, and now you have your uh, end plates ready. And then we are going to cut two of these to make rest of the frame. And you want to uh, pump your bottle jack. First you are going to pump your cylinder all the way out so you can measure how tall your machine needs to be to get to be able to use full stroke and so this is about 330 millimeters and you want to add about 50 millimeters or two inches there to be sure that it's these are uh, long enough so it would be like 30 380 millimeters and you can use regular metal saw so to cut these I'm too lazy for that so I'm going to use my angle grinder so it's no now it's too short yeah now it's about good cool. 
First one. And then you can And now you can use the first one to measure the next one. Yeah. And then you want to take these stickers away and probably make this bit rough to let the uh, chemical metal to Stick it in better. And then you need to use chemical metal. And these are always a bit different. So you need to read the instructions from the package. And probably use gloves because these are quite toxic. Toxic shit. And this one needs to be 50% of this and 50% of that, so I'm going to mix it right here. And now it's, it takes like uh, 5 to 10 minutes to get hard. And you have to wait for that before assembling the the press. And you may want to uh, wipe these out before they get hard. So now the uh, chemical metal should be hardened and it seems so. So we can start the assembling process. Uh, first you gonna uh, put one nut on each of the rods. And then one of these things, <laughs> I have no idea, but they are in English. So one small and then these larger ones also to get pressure spread on larger surface. And let's hope that this is right. It seems to be alright. Yeah. And then put this through here. Yep. And then these smaller parts. <laughs> right. Like this. And then nuts also. Yep, and then you can raise it up like this. And now you can uh, lower your cylinder so we have room for the upper frame part. Yeah, like this. And then you need to put, put uh, one more notch here. Like this. And one these smaller parts. And then put the uh, top part of the frame here. Like this. And then the last parts, first the larger ones, and then the smaller ones, and then the nuts. And now uh, try to get uh, this leveled on this side so it is about straight. Yeah, I think it's about there. And then you can uh, use the Cylinder
to get some pressure against the frame. Yeah, now it is almost ready. You just have to tighten these. You can use friends. Yeah, now it's ready. I think it it ain't pretty, but it costed less than 35 euros and I'm quite sure with four tons you can actually crush some shit. Yeah, I think we are going to go outside and crush some shit. And when operating this or any other hydraulic press always wear safety glasses and don't cross your own hand or don't cross anything hard if you don't have blast shield. And we don't have blast shield here so we don't cross anything hard. I think these are Maybe a bit dangerous, but we are professional, so we can crush them in the name of entertainment. So the first victim of our new press is coconut. <laughs> yeah, and here we go. Oh oh. Yeah, we got some sounds. Yeah! Ooh. And our <laughs> chemical metal has gotten loose. I think you should use some kind of pot while mixing it because <laughs> the mi mixture wasn't perfect. But our press works nevertheless. And then the soda can. Yeah, and here we go again. And this isn't soda, it's just water. But same end result, or with the beer can also. Yeah, look. Oh. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I think this is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this pink dog. It is extremely dangerous and may at attack at any time, so we must deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> it escaped. Oh-oh. <laughs> Yeah.